रोशनी का कारवां दिस पॉडकास्ट इज ब्रॉट टू यू बाय बैरियर ब्रेक सॉल्यूशंस प्राइवेट लिमिटेड एंड स्कोर फाउंडेशन Hi my name is George Abraham and welcome to Iway Conversations my guest today is Ram Kamal Manoj a social engineer a journalist and a brand consultant he runs an organization called Chakshumati so Ram uh, what is Chakshumati what does it mean and what does it do Chakshumati is a sanskrit word it was a golden day education pedagogy of india yeah like uh, the guru used to sit on a little highest place and he used to recite the lessons and the student sitting in front of him closing their eyes trying to remember and uh, recite the lesson back so that is called chakshumadi vidya right so chakshumadi the name came to us through one of our friend and uh, guru swami sugabodhananda chakshu means i yeah madhi means intelligence yeah in another way we could call it like intuitive mind or insight i think uh, it's it is one of the most proper name for an organization who is working in the area of print disability how did you start this organization meaning are you the starter or were there other people involved i stayed in delhi from 2008 that's the time i met with uh, dipendra manocha yeah yeah it really 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 uh, influenced me the way dipendra was running saksham yeah and by hearing all these uh, requirements the community needs for improvement right on those days in kerala there were no training centers right later there is like uh, enable india and uh, rotary club kochi started a training center in kochi yeah then kerala state government also started a training center in uh, trivandrum yeah so it was not there before right so we thought like okay let us do something because i was also on a plan like to retire from my uh, professional work partially because uh, i was at the age of 50 that time right so i thought okay after 50 i need to do some social good things yeah right so i discussed it with my friends now on my way to i mean to vandram once i stopped at bangalore yeah. i met uh, swami sugabodhananda who is a corporate guru yeah who used to do a lot of training programs for uh, all corporate companies yeah even for delhi daredevils he was a success coach right okay so i spoke to him about uh, my intention of doing some social good work yeah and i said will you be able to give me a very ethnic name yeah spontaneously he said chakshumadi right so that is the reason we named the organization in the name of chakshumadi it is not a religious organization at all we don't have anything to do with religion our religion is empowerment If you know of anyone with vision impairment who needs guidance on living life with blindness please share the iway national toll free helpline number 18005320469 the number is 18005320469 your journey in the area of work with in the domain of life with blindness uh, how did you plan it out and uh, how did it evolve during my early learning period with dipendra yeah i understood one major major part yeah assistive technology is the answer for all these present day problems right and second problem i identified is short of reading Right. reading really empower a person right and daisy forum was one of the major major attraction for me to start chakshumadi in kerala right so we started as a daisy resource center in kerala right 
So we started our job for producing local language books. So you got what excitedly I was thinking to get books to them and to make them get the taste of technology for reading, then slowly take them to other area. Kerala got the highest number of graduates and postgraduates in the visually impaired community. Yes. Then I was wondering why they were not getting a job, proper job. So that was my first agenda to work, to get employment for these people, meaningful employment for these people. So we started with a Dosa in the Dark program at the Techno Park in uh, Trivandrum. <laughs> so this is people, people eating Dosa in the Dark, is that correct? Dosa in the Dark. And it was a successful event because when Chakshamudhi we started, we had around 11 staff. Yeah. All of them are visually impaired. Right. All of them are graduates and postgraduates. Right. And we trained them computer in and around. Yeah. So these guys were perfect. They can do any magic with computers. Those right. Guys. Right. So we did this Dosha in the Dark in uh, Tivantan Techno Park. So we asked the techies to come and compete with our guys. Yeah. Switch off the monitor. Yeah. We give them a, an Excel, <laughs> Excel solution. I yeah. asked them, can you do that? They said, we can't do that. Okay, we'll switch on the monitor, but you can't use the mouse. Yeah. So they were struggling. They were really struggling. Then finally, they were really convinced, yes, we will give jobs to these people. Right. So we had a data of around 45 people those days. Yeah. To get job. But none of them could qualify any of these companies because their English language capability is very poor. Yeah. Their spellings are miserable. Yeah. And lack of enthusiasm is one of the major things. Everybody wants to get a government job. So finally, we managed to get two people employed into two companies. One guy with Allianz and another guy with Shogun Systems. Shogun Systems guy is still working with them. Yeah. But uh, Allianz guy, what happened is like after a year, he got the best employee award. Fantastic. He's a MCOM finance guy anyhow. Right. Right. But he got a job in the government. So he resigned and went and joined the government job. Yeah. But my first attempt really opened my eye. Yeah. Because I know it is not the degree is going to get these people job. It is going to give skills. Skills are going to give them jobs. That is very well said. I think uh, a lot of the education today ignores skills. It's only about rote learning. And uh, skills are left in the... In the in the in the background, you know, so it is it is not going to happen. The reason yeah. hmm. those who use a scribe to write their examination, right, can't expect a scribe to work with them. Absolutely, absolutely. So they have to write their examination their own. Yeah. Then I could say like they are employable. Correct. So we decided in 2011. Yeah. Okay. Let us come out with a slogan. Yeah. It is easy to bring stronger children. Than repair broken men. Can you repeat it? It's easy to bring. It's stronger. easy to build stronger children. Yeah. Than repair broken men. Right. That's an interesting slogan. Yeah. Uh, it is not my slogan. It is Thomas Douglas, one of the famous American senator. Yeah. Black senator. Yeah. Who said this? Seeing the pathetic condition of the black people in the US. Correct. Without education. Yeah. So he was focusing on the new generation. Yeah. You can see the difference now. In the US. Right. The same thing, we decided we will work only with the new generation. Yeah. Kids. Give them maximum assistance. Right. Give them all the support so that right. they will be independent in their studies and they will come up in their life in a right manner. So when you talk about working with children yeah. uh, and making them independent, uh, you're talking about introducing them to assistive technology right from yeah. early days. So what does that actually mean? Does it mean that they do their reading and writing and research and exam writing, all that on technology? Yes, yes. That is one major thing. Yeah. But to make it happen, yeah. our first challenge was content. Right. No accessible content available those days. Yeah. So we went to SCRT, Kerala yeah. SCRT, Divendra and Bob Mitra, a couple of other... Uh, our best friends from the Daisy Forum. So they all came. They yeah. all tried to I mean, uh, make this education department convinced that this is the future. This yeah. is the way the content should be made. Right. So please give us the 
text of the books so then we will convert it into accessible textbooks yes so they come out with a big uh, question no it is copyrighted and uh, we can't give you yeah so that is the point where daisy df daisy forum of india thought putting a bill in the indian parliament to amend the copyright law yeah first is history yeah. like india amended the copyright law america amended some of the european countries then world intellectual property organization amended now we have more than 11 lakh books available in india for our uh, reading yeah accessible books right so content is one of the major thing then right. device those days devices are very costly yes we are talking about like uh, before the smartphones yes right but we used to buy i mean uh, angel plays or daisy plays to these children to use it yes computers another major issue government give a computer free to a child i mean a visually impaired person yeah who completed his degrees or who is above like uh, 20 years or 22 years yes what is the point in giving a computer on those age instead of giving to small i mean children who study in the school and colleges yeah but anyway that happened uh we used to buy computers for those smartphones yeah but no, nothing of this comes from any sponsorship we didn't had any sponsorship drive we don't have any bank account we don't have any money directly involved yeah so our good friends used to buy for these students directly yes beneficiary and the uh, i mean a uh, supporter one question here before you move on ram um, so uh, this would have been what in 2014 15 2011 uh, 12 13 like we could say like okay and how many children uh, you would think um, actually got into this program of yours we had around 140 children okay and you uh, kind of worked along with them right through yeah we worked along with them because we have uh, see our operational method is very very interesting yeah okay chakshmadi initially we had 11 staff yeah as i told you yeah but what happened is like as a challenge what we faced in uh, techno park yeah we decided to make these people get into meaningful jobs right <laughs> so all my staff gone i don't have any more staff right i don't have any more over uh, overheads because previously i was having around on like 25000 rupees monthly overhead yeah that is not the way i understood like this is not the way to run the institution yeah so we decided like we should have volunteers yeah trained volunteers yeah so we were partnering with uh, ieee yeah institute for electrical and electronics engineers yes world's biggest professional organization yeah because the reason why we went to ieee our chairman professor damodaran he, he was one of the senior most member of ieee yeah and those days he was uh, the chairman for the young professionals group yeah as a mentor yes so he said all these engineering college students like we need your help to teach mathematics and science to these kids yeah we are not talking about accessible things those days yeah we don't have any yeah because hearing a daisy audio book learning math and science is bit tricky yeah <laughs> so we had these volunteers who used to go to the students home or the schools or the uh, hostels yeah. and teach them right so that is the way we started and then in 2011 end we decided to do a summer camp for visually impaired children in 2012 summer yeah so we did the first ice free science camp right that is the first in the world i could say like yeah and we had around uh, 45 children joined in that particular camp yes that is really really an eye opener because all these kids are very brilliant and they all know the facts yeah only thing they don't have an accessible medium to express right even the chairman of uh, isro those days hmm. uh, dr madhavan nair who came and uh, sat because those kind of scientists used to come and sit and chat with these kids because our basic idea is to create scientific tempo with them right so dr madhavan nair after his speech when we were having lunch he said Professor Damodaran, we I never had this much intense question-answer section with anyone, even with the doctoral guys. Yeah, 
so you can see there is no lack of intelligence yeah there is no lack of things curiosity yeah the only thing was accessibility yeah so then we started working on accessibility side on how to create text to dice accessible books uh, this is specifically to uh, bring science and mathematics into their studies yeah. okay. because those children who study in the school yeah up to 7th standard because unfortunately those days because of my ignorance our yeah. focus was only with the blind schools yeah kids came from blind schools yeah so in the blind schools there is a tradition like we don't need to teach mathematics very basic mathematics they get yeah they don't get the same thing what the same age kid gets in the normal school yeah that is quite unfortunate yeah and they were discouraged that oh, no 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 math is not for you guys right so this is the kind of kids coming to us for the camp yeah and after the camp they go back and say that no math is accessible for us right so we used to teach the mendel maths yeah new techniques yeah so they were doing excellent in maths yeah and science also yeah so this way we created a scientific tumbo with the kids right most of the kids later opt to go for science and maths for their plus 1 plus 2 studies now um, you know uh, schools and colleges for that matter are a little skeptical about giving admission to children who are blind in the science or math stream uh, this yeah. is the case in most parts of india yeah so um, how was it different in kerala no it was not different in kerala at all hmm for the first student who got 9a plus yeah and 1a in his 10th yeah. i mean 2 plus 2 examination and no, yeah. 10th examination yeah he got a in history yeah rest everything is a plus yeah but she was denied admission so we went to kerala high court yeah after a year we got the order done that no admission should be denied for any eligible candidate yeah and uh, disability sector is not a matter yeah as long as the child is intelligent yeah again uh, very next year also they denied so we went to the child right commissionerate because kerala government was not at all responding education department yeah besides we have the high court order yeah so child rights commissioner was very very enthusiastic about this right and that's the time our second no no third high school science camp was running in tivandrum yeah so she came and sat with the children and understood the reality right she sent an arrest warrant to the additional director of <laughs> <laughs> she sent an arrest warrant yeah okay so she is she got a magistrate magistrate power right right so <laughs> the same night uh, kerala chief minister umman chandi his office called me at right. 11 o'clock at night yeah said come to cliff house his uh, official house yeah so when they are around 11:30 mm. he came to the room and uh, gave me a paper and said give me precisely half a page write up about what you want okay tomorrow we have a cabinet meeting right i will sort this issue okay because one of the i mean uh, congress youth congress worker yeah went and told the whole story of uh, arresting the additional director yeah <laughs> he came to know about this right so next day in the cabinet meeting he gave the paper to the education minister and said next week i need an order right in short on the end last date of the 10 day science camp he came to the camp sat with the children and given us the order okay i have a question here which is that it's one thing to you know give an order that blind children should be admitted into science and maths uh, yeah. courses now right. if you don't have teachers who have the wherewithal or the experience to teach the subject mm-hmm. the pedagogy is also as important yeah admission is one issue content is another issue but pedagogy yeah. also is important yeah so how did you address that <laughs> to tell you a very interesting uh, reality yeah there is no need for any extra training for any of these teachers okay all what we need yeah own sit with the teacher brainwash he or she that this kid is too intelligent than you 
Yeah. All what you do, whatever you write in the board, blackboard, talk and write. The child will understand. Any yeah. diagrams, it is not accessible there. Yeah. Draw in their hands. So this is I am talking about in two thousand thirteen. Okay. All right. That is what we had. Those before days. before uh, tactile diagrams came Bef- into picture. Before this, because that is this, this is one of the reason the tactile innovation came because. Right. Every year, IIT Delhi sent our uh, Aztec Lab guys to our science camp. Yeah, to sit with the kids and understand. Right, and come out with the solutions. Right. So that is what we need. Hmm. The rest we have given every child a laptop and asked them to work digitally. So, in other words, what you are saying is that there is no real uh, rocket science involved. Nothing. More of an open mindedness. and a Absolutely. willingness to engage yeah and a willingness to innovate and be creative in the way you actually engage with the blind children absolutely 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 because see the major issue is mentality to support our work with the blind and visually impaired you can visit the donate page on our website www.scorefoundation dot o r g dot in. Please note www dot score foundation dot o r g dot i n. Now you've been working close to ten years, I think. You said you started in two thousand ten eleven, and it's about ten years, and you are uh, you have certain very very strong learnings in the sense that you've come to the conclusion that assistive technology. content and uh, uh, motivated positive uh, catalyst yeah can actually transform the way blind people evolve in our community so uh, do you have any ideas or thoughts or plans to actually uh, share or scale up this uh, learning and understanding that you have to the rest of the country you all have we all had a book share right benetta corporation yes Benetech is always with us because you know Chakshmodi doesn't have any money. We don't have any money. We don't use any money. Yeah. We don't take any money also. But yeah. we create projects and request Benetech to take it over. Yeah, we jointly sit together and design projects. Okay, okay, and it is Benetech gets a good set of testing kids with us. Yeah, that is what the good thing happened. Yeah. So uh, the year back we decided to go for. converting one blind school in every state of india yeah completely digital okay because blind schools are resisting to become digital right so if we convert one school the others will follow okay that is what our idea and also it can create a local awareness to the other children who is not in the blind school normal schools yeah can also see that there is something like this so we currently it is going in 18 states at the moment the training programs happening <clears throat> right. so here one of the major major task we have is creating accessible content study yeah. content yeah so if you look at textbooks all state education research boards used to produce the textbooks for that particular state right but mostly it is a copycat of ncert textbooks right so we we already have ncert textbooks accessible yeah math science if you look at it, it is there and most of them are produced in kerala here yeah so for the children currently up to 8 from 8 standard to 12 standard almost all the states got their books in maths and science and most of the test books done by bookshare and right. uploaded in bookshare so the school text uh, textbooks for science and maths are available up to class 12 up to class 12 yes yes, yes. Okay, so, is this is so, this the state board or you also have CBSE? No, no, state state boards, state boards as well as NCERT. Okay. Okay. Besides these, besides yeah. these, they get a wide range of mathematics and science books in Bookshare. Right. So a child with curiosity can go any level. Well, uh, uh, you know, this is a very interesting uh, set of exp- experiments that you have been doing, and uh, there are a lot of very positive. outcomes and uh, learnings which could be uh, which could be trends that could change the way blind students or blind children evolve into citizens of india and become part of the human resource of this country 
So thank you very much, Ram, for uh, uh, sharing your uh, story, telling us about uh, the various things that you've done. And thank you very much for uh, your time and wish you the very best. This podcast was brought to you by Barrier Break Solutions Private Limited and Score Foundation. Roshni ka